leaders of artificial intelligence. I'm not. I'm not. Who also has quite a lovely singing voice. Oh, yes, he's not singing right now. But he sang a song for My Fair Lady like a few weeks ago. Very cute. I mean, we were like, what? Where's I mean, you can give us a small taste. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. <laughs> Trust me, trust me. Thank you. And now for something completely different. <laughs> so this is a story that is one of my personal favorites out of all of the stories on the internet. This story is called First Encounters. <laughs> Disclaimer! The characters within the story belong to J.K. Rowling and Warner Brothers. Hogwarts sighed, and it echoed within its empty halls. The students had all left for the summer, and it felt empty and useless. He shuddered, causing small trembles throughout his halls that were barely discernible, except by the spiders and owls. <laughs> the giant squid saw how miserable Hogwarts was. It was true that he also missed the students, but for an entirely different reason. He missed their terrified screams as he revealed himself, rising from the murky depths of the lake. His huge eyes stared mournfully at his very large tentacles. At one time, he had dreams of becoming an actor, but the larger he grew, the fewer agents and scouts would come calling until they stopped altogether. There wasn't much in the market for a squid that could split a schoolgirl from stem to stern. He stared at his tentacles as they moved gently in the current. A plan formed in his mind as he swam to the surface Je hesitating momentarily before pulling himself from the water. It ran off his rubbery skin and rivulets as he made his way across the grounds. No humans were around to witness the incredible trek, and no human would believe that his eyes had been a witness. Hogwarts watched the giant squid approach and felt apprehension well up in its kitchen. What are you doing? His words weren't spoken, but they were understood. Just trust me, the giant squid replied caressing Hogwarts' outer walls. I'm not ready, Hogwarts exclaimed, trying to push the giant squid away. Hogwarts, you're lonely. I'm lonely. <laughs> we don't have to be. Besides, you can't go around just manipulating your staircases. You know about that? Everyone does it, sort of. That's besides the point. I've never... The temperature within Hogwarts rose in embarrassment. I'll go slow, I promise. He began to caress a window. <laughs> I, told, I told you this is one of my favorite stories. Thank you. Hogwarts sighed, the fight leaving him. He relaxed, allowing the tentacle inside, where it brushed against the inner walls. It's, it's just Hogwarts and a giant squid. I don't know where your mind is going. <laughs> the R-rated... Oh, it's very R-rated. I won't read that part. He fashioned the suction cups to the floor, lifting the tentacle away so it pulled on the floor without losing its grip. Another sigh swept through the halls of Hogwarts. Oh, Merlin! His rapture turned into fright as he felt a tentacle work his way into a second window. I don't... <laughs> Trust me, said the giant squid. It'll feel good. Remember this? He pulled the suction cups a little ho harder. Hogwarts groaned. Do it again! <laughs> the giant squid complied. And as he did so, he pressed the second tentacle in. <laughs> Hogwarts shuddered. The giant squid backed off, unwilling to finish so soon. He waited for Hogwarts to calm down before sending the second tentacle to search the room. He felt the need to fill Hogwarts as much as possible. He raised another tentacle, caressing its outer walls. Running along when... I don't know where your mind is going. It's just a, it's just a giant squid and a giant school. No, nothing sure. is happening. Yeah. How much more time do I have? None. None? Okay. Zero time. Zero time. Oh. Well, then we'll just summarize the end. I think you all know where it goes. I think you all know where it goes. Okay. The end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on, you know, alert. Oh. I gotta, I gotta 
I got a red flag. For oh, dirty okay. Army oh, army okay. Of robots. Yes. And Good. That's quite dirty. <laughs> okay, um, is there anybody that has not been up here yet that wants to come up and read a poem? Same as Tell a story. Tell a dirty squid story. <laughs> a dirty squid. <laughs>